Dear son. Wait, was that a jump cut? Somewhere, software has been found. So I wanted to make a Christmas video and I got bogged down in the software and it didn't happen. And then I was thinking of a New Year's video and that didn't happen. And so screw the holidays. Yay! Behind me is artwork made by your mother. It's beautiful. Let's take a little look at that. Go over here, actually. Um, so she's doing painting and it looks wonderful. There's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. Many of them are incredibly important. Many of them are very, very trivial. But I think at the forefront of everyone's thoughts right now is your mom. She needs us, even though she's amazingly capable and wonderful. She needs us all. And I think, in general, I'm not a good husband. I'm not a good father. I'm not good at any of the things that require people. That's not where my strength is. That's not who I am. For whatever reason, you also have difficulty with this. Perhaps because I've not been a great example. Perhaps we're just alike in that way. But you need to understand that people are not going away. And whatever our strengths, whatever our weaknesses are, dealing with people needs to be something that we can do. And being there for people who love us is something we should want to do. Your mother is a wonderful person. And more importantly than that, not that being good isn't important, but she is improving. She is more caring, more giving, and more determined now than she has been. And that is crucial. One of my greatest difficulties in life has always been that I like consistency. I want to be who I am, where I am, doing the thing I do. And that is always a bad idea. And unfortunately, it's also something that you're dealing with right now. And I have this strange feeling that you're looking at me and saying, oh, you mean my brother? And yes, I do. And no, I don't. So, in conclusion, sock pulling time. Gatsplanation! Previously on Gatsplanation. We were talking about the Montreal Canadiens and why they have an H and a C in their symbol. I told you that it was because of Hans Christian, that's the HC, Anderson's epic storytelling masterpiece about a sports team who made good. That is a dadsplanation. Those are the terms we are now going with. Truth, dadsplanation. That is now a part of our video culture. Today on dadsplanation, why does Wayne Gretzky wear a ripped jersey? I'm presuming this card is really old. Because Wayne Gretzky doesn't do that much hockey anymore. He mostly does commercials. And I don't see him very often in a ripped jersey on the commercials. But I presume it means why did Wayne Gretzky wear a ripped jersey? And perhaps he still does when he plays hockey. I don't know. The answer to this is quite simple. Like many professional athletes, he feels a need to get pumped up before games. And like many of them, he goes back to childhood traditions in order to make it happen for him. In this case, he actually has one of his friends from school rough him up to get him pumped for games. And I think that is amazing. Good on him. And also, good on his friend 
whose professional job is bully to a millionaire. I'm just imagining being in those myths, having a picnic with your mom, who is allergic to everything that you can see there. Yes, that hill in the background, she's allergic to it. But still, the picnic would be nice. That's all for today.